Okay, so today's video is partly why I say it's ill-advised to buy a department store bike, a review of this particular bike, and my reasons for buying this bike, even though I have always had low expectations of department store bikes such as this. So this bike is approximately a month old it was bought the beginning of this month right on the first and today is the 27th of the month so approximately a month old almost immediately after i got this bike even though it appears the same and it actually appears to be a very good bike i immediately had well, not immediately, but almost immediately had issues with, I don't know if you can see that here, but maybe you can hear it. Yeah, can you hear that? The bearings are already going out on the back wheel. The front wheel, on the other hand, for comparison purposes, does not do that. The front wheel is very, very tight. There's no... I'm wiggling it so there's no noise coming from it because the bearings aren't loose. Also, as I go down steep hills at higher speeds, I can feel this like it's wanting to almost give way. It's hazardous even if you're not cautious. Um, this is not what I expect from a Mongoose mountain bike. Mongoose mountain bikes are among the top tier brands that you look for when you're looking at department store bikes. Emphasis on the fact that you're looking at a department store bike there because, well, if you know anything about bikes in general, you probably already know to avoid department store bikes. Uh, this one was from my local Myers department store for a hundred and ninety dollars approximately plus taxes and has 21 speeds on it as well as your front and rear v brakes front suspension basic but nice design your usual hard seat because they basically want you to spend more for a nice gel type seat if you're going to eventually go that route the gears work right away your classic grip shift as they're known or whatever you prefer to label them as <coughs> excuse me the brakes both work good the back brakes work is certainly just as good the brakes are not any of the issues have all the reflectors and the necessary stuff this was put together well um however that's not surprising to me because i am one of those who before i actually walk out the store with it or even take it up to the register makes very sure that the bike is in its proper state at least upon being bought if you're insistent upon buying a department store bike, do that. Make sure that it at least starts off right, because that's definitely a representation of how well the bike will be during the time you bought it. During the time you own it, I'm sorry. Anyway, while the back wheel seems like an easy fix, my only department... My apologies again. My only... Pro shop, sorry to say department store. Anyway, though, um, my only pro shop referred back to COVID and the corona virus as a popular reason slash excuse, whatever you want to call it, as to why they don't have hardly any inventory. So while that would be an easy replacement, easy fix, they're out of virtually everything and the selection is pretty bare bones, I mean, for components and part replacements. Their bike selection is 
well, that's another matter for another time because this is not about theirs. I do know what it would take to get one there. It's roughly about 700 bucks for an entry-level bike there. <coughs> Excuse me once again. And that's basically why this bike comes in at approximately $200 with taxes. Again, $190 before. Um, it's basically a third of the price, but it's also, well, you guessed it, a third of the quality. I knew this before I got it. I had these bikes for roughly four to six months before they develop some issue. And sometimes I'll be able to actually get it repaired or repaired placed whatever goes wrong with it but given the current reasoning and rationalizations they offer about why they don't have it and the expectation of having it anytime soon basically my next bike will be a higher end bike i will save a little bit for that i will make certain that the next one is a like a GT Performer, they had those in stock, or perhaps a specialized uh, rock hopper. Those were a few examples of the $700 bikes I had. Um, definitely entry level for pro grade, but also a hell of a lot better than what this is. And ever could hope to be even. Um, just as I'm talking here, offer multiple angles of it, um, I guess. There's not a whole lot more to say. Um, I did get this mainly for the purpose of a temporary bike because the season, well, is only just beginning. And so I'm hoping that the pro shop that I go to might get better selection and have something that's maybe more desirable um the rock hopper by specialized is a nice bike but it only gives a uh, mechanical disc brakes it doesn't have the hydraulic disc brakes and if you know the difference you know that's actually significant and if spending good money on a bike may as well try to get what i really want um so yeah this is definitely always intended to be a temporary bike i just didn't think it'd be so quick that you know something that's potentially crippling to the bike would happen so quickly no i didn't expect it to last any length of time but i have from experience repeated experience over net numerous years my own personal expectations based on my own personal experiences and this is quickly going to hell even by those standards. Um, if it wasn't for the back wheel, I will go back to that one more time because it's kind of relevant in that if it wasn't for the back wheel, everything else about the bike is so far solid. If I can get something done about this over the next month, I can actually extend its life dramatically. Um, that is currently up in the air. I have yet to look into it at the pro shop. I have such low expectations from them based on what they've been saying over the past couple years now. Again, due to the corona, COVID seasoning. Um, perhaps not the best way of wording that, seasoning. I don't know. Um, anyway, though, um, but yeah. I just don't have much expectation that they'll have the necessary replacement part or parts because I don't know if they'll need to replace the whole wheel or just the bearings will be sufficient or which they'll have available if they'll have either of them available my expectations again remain so low that I'm not gonna go down there until I have money in hand to do it I'm not gonna explore the possibility ahead of time like I sometimes do they're also a rather High strung bunch of people there. So if you go there, basically make sure you're gonna Well, that's a review towards um more than it is towards this bike, so 
I'll say nothing further on that. However, here it is. Uh, it is more in detail. The 21-speed Mongoose Inertia bike, as they call it. And honestly, it's great apart from the back wheel. But it's also another classic example of don't expect to get shit from any department store bike. Definitely get the most budget-conscious one you can find. Don't focus on brand. However, I will give a bit of a nod to Schwinn if you're going to go that the route of getting a department store bike and you can afford a Schwinn, by all means, most definitely get a Schwinn because even though they're not a whole hell of a lot better, they are better enough that they're worth the money, at least more times than not in my experiences. Just best recommendation is pay attention to how it starts off. Don't expect much to be able to be fixed right away because I know this ain't the only pro shop that has limited stock and limited inventory to, do, to offer replacement parts if the need should be there. Make sure whatever it is is in good order or else be prepared to be stuck with it how it is.